Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, The Blood Samurai. My name is Sam and today we're back playing Vault Hunters. So there's a few things that I've learned and stuff um, from more practicing and testing and just kind of doing stuff. Um, so I'm going to harvest all these crystals and you're going to notice something on the crystals that is a little disappointing. Oh! <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. See, there it is. So, vault XP reduction. So that means for this next vault, we're gonna have, we're gonna get a little bit less XP when we leave. Now, there's one thing that I'm looking forward to. That's called a vault, a uh, vault altar. So we're going to need to get this. Basically what a vault altar is going to allow us to do. Is we will be able to go in. We will be able to like. Create our own vault crystals basically. And. Those vault crystals will. Um, allow us to kind of get around the. That vault XP. Reduction. That we are obviously going to be affected by. And also these, in those vaults that you make, give a ton more experience. Like a lot more experience. So this one I believe is a 25% reduction, reduction in um, XP gain. Yeah, plus or minus 25%. I'm assuming that means minus 25% because it does say reduction. Um, ooh, this is a nice area to start off with. So we need, um, so for the vault altar, you need various things. So um, something that I think I'm actually gonna going to do right away is um gonna get a furnace standard and going to try to get a little bit more iron so here we go so we'll put that in there because I'm actually going to do something that's a little bit unorthodox I'm gonna get a bucket I'm also gonna try to get some extra ores things like that just just for the sake of having them ancient debris always nice to get so basically how volt altars work is like I said it's like you're crafting a, you're basically, you're kind of crafting a crystal. Each crystal that you craft has different, um, different ways of, um, or different recipes, I should say. Different resources that you need in order to craft it. We're also going to need vault stone. Um, because we need vault rocks. Vault rocks you put into. Did I also my? Okay, my music is fine. Okay, there's just not any music right now. Normally there would be like a little bit of music playing. Um, but yeah, this run is kind of gonna be just gathering materials. Um, do I want to have a second bucket? Probably, actually. Because I want to get lava and water. So I will actually need a second bucket. We will also need some obsidian. So now difficulty comes with 
the vault crystals that you make, the mobs are much harder. Everything about them is harder. Um, they have objectives. You know, they have their own kind of set of difficulties that are always obviously going to come with that, you know, extra reward that you get for completing them. So we need the obsidian. Obviously. I'm just trying to make sure that there's not going to be any lava or anything like that around them. And then, and these recipes to craft these vault uh, crystals, I believe, are quite random. So, I'm, I'm assuming earlier ones, more beginner, early level crystals, um, are most likely going to, con most likely not going to be that difficult to make. Um, I doubt you're really going to need anything too extravagant to craft them. One thing that I do know we will need are seeds. So I'm going to try to get some seeds. Um, please. Game. Pretty please. I know we also will need leaves. So actually getting some shears would probably be handy. I don't know. We'll, you know what? Saplings should do just fine. We'll just grow the trees ourselves. Okay, we got some seeds. Okay, so that's there. So I think all the loot is basically gone from there. So we currently have everything we need for the vault altar. Now again, it's just a matter of the recipe for whatever vault crystal it basically is, you know, having us make. We just have to figure out what the recipe is and hopefully have the resources um, to make it don't have the recipe if you don't have the you know materials or whatever to make it then you know you're out of luck so certain things are going to obviously be more important saplings probably not really going to be that important right now i'm not i'm not entirely sure what is important to be honest but I'm just hoping for the best here, basically. Or just... Honestly, I think... Because I know seeds are quite... Like, quite uh, necessary for the recipes. These things, I don't know. Just kind of trying to grab even random, you know, whatever I can find. Because most, more than likely, if it's something that, you know, doesn't seem like it's probably is all that necessary for, for, you know, whatever. If it doesn't seem like it's something that you're going to need, it probably is something you're going to need, is basically what I'm trying to say. Again, like seeds. You, you, you know, you don't even normally get seeds. You'd have to go out of your way to break the grass and, you know, do all this stuff to get it. But, but it is a fairly... I wouldn't say vital role, but very prominent in the recipe for the vault crystals. So, that is why I am 
keeping it on me, and also why I am very reluctant on not taking stuff. I don't know. Because you don't really know what you need. And it would be really nice if... This feels like deja vu. I feel like I've been to this place before. Which is exactly how deja vu works. I don't need to... I probably don't need to explain that to anyone. Um... I know all these places are supposed to be procedurally generated, I think. I think. <laughs> but, yeah, this feels... This feels like I've been here before. Um... But... Yeah, so, so I'm not sure what exactly, obviously, that I need for the recipe yet until I actually put the rock in there and it, you know, tells me and it's like, oh yeah, this is the stuff you need for it, but we're just kind of going to play a guessing game and try to be as prepared as possible. Some more iron. Again, going to try to kind of stock up on some materials. Lapis is obviously quite abundant. Emeralds, I'm fairly sure that I have a lot of it. Um, just need, just want to make a bucket, another bucket. So I can get water. Do I want two buckets so then I can have infinite water? Probably. Let's quickly try to find another piece of iron. There might be another one. Please, game. Be nice to me. Give me more iron. Show me the iron. Come on. Anything, really. Gold? Okay, well. I'll take some gold, I guess. Dang. No more iron, really. That's actually quite surprising. Like, literally, literally none. Dang. Maybe there's, oh, there's, but there's a whole other area right over here. Just wasted so much time. Okay. So I'll make two buckets. So yeah, this is kind of just a resource run, basically. This isn't... Not for anything important, really. Not for loot. At least not the typical loot that we would be looking for here. This is more so just... Yeah, it's just kind of gathering. Just for gathering stuff. Is that ancient debris? Yeah, it is. I thought I had seen some out of the corner of my eye. I thought I saw some? Maybe that's... I don't know. Proper grammar. Someone can correct me in the comments. Um, okay. Maybe grab some more copper. I don't know. Again, the recipes are quite random. At least I think they are. Maybe there is a method to the madness. Maybe they're more predictable than I think they are, but... Or maybe they are random. I don't know. All I do know is that in the case that I'm missing a resource, I don't want to be missing the resource. So, to prepare for that and make sure that sort of event doesn't happen, we're going to stock up on stuff. Ding. 
looks like water. How am I going to fit this in my inventory? He says while finding space in his inventory. Why does he talk to himself on a near daily basis for people that probably aren't going to watch his videos? Why do pe why does anyone enjoy watching him talk to himself? You know, there's a lot of questions. A lot of is he crazy? Maybe. Why doesn't he have any friends? I feel like playing this mod pack has driven driven me to a level of insanity that I have not reached before. Okay, ten minutes left. Ten minutes left to just kind of gather resources, gather extras. Not even sure really what I need. Sorry, these levels really feel similar. Bad idea. Bad idea. Very bad idea. I mean, we should be fine. But that was a very... There was a play that could have been very cool. That is basically how I'm going to word that. If I did that, I feel like it would have been cooler. Like, if I had just done that right off the bat without falling and hurting. And, you know, breaking my ankles. I feel like that, what I did, what I did just there would have been cooler. If I hadn't done that just prior. Um, I wonder if there's a way to break your fall with scaffolding. I don't want to confuse myself, so I'm going to break that. Okay. There probably is. The only way that I could think of doing it would be, like, place the scaffolding down and then shift as like you're like shift while you're falling into it because it kind of the scaffolding acts kind of as like cobweb while you're in it but you obviously have to be in it first before it does that So, I don't know. Just speculating. But yeah, so with the vault crystals that we're going to be crafting, those do actually have the objectives. So that is where we will start being introduced to objectives now the difficulty of the object of the objectives will have to kind of find that out as it goes along because when we craft it we actually won't know what the objective is until we get into the get into the level get into the vault so we kind of just have to prepare for it. Kind of like what we're doing right now. Preparing for it. As I walk into a camp. Okay, seven minutes left. 
Um, we could do a little bit more looting of this area. Missed with that hit, but it's fine. Rotten flesh. I'm, I'm not sure about rotten flesh yet. Maybe I'll need it. But maybe I won't. I don't, I don't quite know. Again, you don't really know what you need until you put the crystal onto the onto the thing, and by and by that time, it's kind of already too late. So I think what I want to do is use the extra bit of time that I have to gather some seeds. Take a bit of damage, but I'm gonna try to grab, try to get as many seeds as I can. The so idea is probably make a farm. Um, hopefully get enough XP out of this to invest in the farmer ability. I would like to save, I, I do want to save my points for, um, for the hunter ability, but I think seeds are going to be more important because obviously the more Volt crystals we can do, and the sooner we can do them, the more loot and XP we will be receiving. So, on our journey back to the portal, which will be coming up quite soon. I am just going to keep kind of mindlessly harvesting grass for seeds. This is very boring to watch, but I promise, you know, you know after we get this done, then things will get a lot more interesting, a lot more fascinating. And I'll even try to do a, you know, vault run in one of our crafted... Ooh, and you know what? And we'll actually probably get some more ore in the process. It actually, you know, looks like there's a decent little chunk of ore here. Not really any ore, ore that we need unless we dig through here, which is a little annoying, but three minutes left. Yeah, we're, we're hoping that we're not gonna run out of time, you know? That'd be very unfortunate if that occurred. Um, another thing that I think I'm gonna grab it's got the water. Do I need that crop. I'll get rid of that. I'm gonna grab some more wood. I feel like wood is quite important. We can always grow trees, so. That's definitely going to be something that I will also be setting up. So there's a few different things that we kind of want to set up today. Two minutes left. Okay. Got what? Like 17 seeds. Okay. I 
One more ancient debris. Okay. Minute 45. Any ores in my immediate sight to grab? No. Okay. Maybe there was. I don't know. Is the portal just right over here? No, it's not. Okay. So we have a little ways to go. I don't think I really explored much. No, I didn't. Because I remember it was just right through here. Yep, okay. We have a minute. To collect more seeds. A little bit less than a minute, actually. But... I'm going to try to get all the grass. Thank you. Okay, I kind of missed there, but it's fine. Okay. So we got another point. So now we're going to go over to the farmer trait and become a farmer because why not so now we have lava we have water we can create infinite water that's what we're gonna do we'll have lava for infinite stone cobblestone um so we have this, obviously need to smelt the cobblestone, so let's put that in there. Um, have the vault rock, the two obsidian, and that should be everything. Oh, and the chromatic iron. Okay. So now we're good on that. Okay, so now we have everything. So now... I think what I'm going to do is start getting to work on kind of, not decorating, but altering the island. Um, that's the best way I can describe it, because we're not making it look nice. We're just kind of changing it around. We're also going to be setting up a farm. Missing everything, ex everything but the diamond. Okay. So now, put that in there. Okay. Okay. So we have, we have this. Um, middle mouse button, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, I don't think that works. Um, is there a button that's G? What's my G? My G key. Ability cast? I don't. Chess mode? Don't care. Settings? Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Okay. Okay. So. We have the lava. Now we're going to set up a farm. I do want to eat all this cooked vault meat eventually, but let's set up a farm. We're going to need to get to get to digging. I would say that in country accent, but I feel like that might be, might come across as a little motiv uh, racially motivated, so we're not going to, we're not going to go down the digging r route.
we'll save that for the uh, more um, more edgy YouTubers, which would be fun. Okay. So yeah, so this is the block that we're going for. I think what I'm gonna try to do is go here. So this is the level that we are going to be building at. Kind of building right underneath of everything. So that when we're inevitably mining out basic, basically all of the island, it'll be a little bit easier. Obviously, obviously we're going to need a walkway up to the rest of the island. So this is kind of going to be a relatively temporary staircase. I'm gonna carve out this area a little bit. And then we get up here. We got another vault rock, okay. Are you any different or is that just, that's just, okay, that's just the, but that, that, okay. Um, let's see. Um, more cobblestone slabs. Probably gonna need quite a lot, actually. And probably wanna craft some stairs as well. But, might save that for later. Actually, having a staircase up would actually be quite nice. Okay, it's not the... Uh, do I want to... Do I want to waste a little bit of iron? Yeah. Why not? Just make it. Just for the sake of it. Uh, we'll do like 10. I don't know. I don't think we really need much. Um, I think what I'm going to do is probably like this. Uh, I didn't get that one, but it's fine. Um, all right. We're going to do more or less a typical staircase. Ten might have actually been, yeah. Relatively perfect. Okay. We'll take it. Um, definitely want to add a little bit of safety to it eventually. Which is probably going to look something like this. No. I'm not I'm not doing this very well. It would be like that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. So <laughs> How am I how am I doing this badly? Okay, we're just going to do We're just going to do this. 
This is... I promise we will get to the fun stuff eventually. Just suffer with me for a little bit longer. I promise things will get better. Like, I could have done all of this without having to record it, but you know what? If I have to suffer, I'm taking you guys down with me. I'm joking. I, I love you guys. Anyone who... Okay, that was stupid. Okay. Anyone who decides that watching my videos is worth their time is an amazing person in my books. I'm going to use a little bit of string that I have to make some wool. You know what? I should have also made shears. I did mention I was going to do that, and then I never did. Mainly because I felt... Why did I... What am I doing? I'm going the wrong way. But yeah, mainly because I felt like... more Multiple buckets was... More important, which is definitely the right call in this situation. So I'm trying to kind of match it up with the island, as you can see. All right. There we go. Definitely going to need a lot more slabs for this. So here we go. Don't think I can craft these back into normal cobblestone, but it's fine. Probably going to actually need all this. Also, these are all bottom slabs. In, in case anyone's curious, why we go with bottom slabs. It's because mobs can't spawn on bottom slabs. And if anyone's curious why we're going for slabs in the first place, eh, just for the sake of, like, just for the sake of saving resources. Since, you know, slabs take half as many resources. So, just for saving on resources, like I said, about 50 million times already. I think I did lose a little bit of cobblestone right there, though. But it's fine. Yeah, I definitely... Oh, there, there it is. What? Okay, some of it's just not... dropping for some reason. Some of it is just straight up floating in the sky. Do you see that? My cobblestone is floating. My cobblestone is currently dancing. Oh, of course I can't walk on it because it's not... No, I'm stupid. Okay. Oh, it's because the cobblestone somehow is up here. Interesting. Very interesting game. Very interesting. Oh! There's a chest right here. Oh, nothing, nothing really that good, but different, different colored chests. That sounded very uncomfortable to say. Different colored chests. Okay. So yeah, plan is definitely, you know, mine out this whole thing. 
You know what, actually the water is probably a bad idea because it's going to wash away all of the blocks that I just mined. Luckily, it didn't, but that could have gone very badly. Um, okay, in terms of dirt, you know what, why don't I just collect the water that I, I, I could have done that right from the beginning. Yeah, this video is definitely going to be longer than the previous, but I do like make I, I do enjoy making longer videos. Kind of just finish recording whenever, you know, whenever I kind of complete whatever I intended on completing in said video. Or whenever I get tired of playing, whichever comes first. Usually the completing the objective or whatever that I have set for myself in a video. That usually comes first. Almost done, I think. As long as I don't turn around, then I'm pretty much done. Alright. <laughs> a little bit left. We're going to have a little bit of floating bedrock here, but that's fine. Um, plan is also, I think for this, I think the plan is to probably, yeah, maybe, do I want to get rid of that? Probably. Because then I can do this. Or do I want it to be on the same level? I could do that as well. Or not the same level, but just kind of be a little bit like lower. So I can't really have it be on the same level, but I can have it be Actually, it would no, it would be on the same level. What am I saying? It it quite literally is the same level as okay well you know what just ignore me I'm an idiot that sound is so satisfying though the collecting sound in Minecraft is always has always been really satisfying where is that meat Okay. Um. Let's do. Let's do another stack. See how far it gets us. Didn't mean to put that there. Here, you know what? We could just do this. Okay, I think when it comes to the budding crystal here, I think I'm going to... do... something like this. Hmm. 
Yeah. Yeah, this seems, this feels good. I think this should be good. Nice little platform to kind of like go down on. Maybe even one lower, maybe? Should I go down one more? One lower? I don't know. All I know is that I'm stupid for breaking. Okay. Okay. All I know is that uh, I need to grab this stuff. And should actually probably make stairs and use stairs instead. I think that would be a good idea. Um There we go. I think that actually looks quite nice. And I think this should function quite well. So now that we've done our little bit of remodeling, if you can really call it that, because I wouldn't personally say this looks better I would just say it looks different <laughs> we'll sleep and work on this a little bit so yeah, plan is to obviously put a little bit of some barrier around this and then also have a farm. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if we mark this as the center. One, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen! Yay, we have thirteen. Okay, there we go. Yep. <laughs> it was all planned. Everything. Everything is good. Everything. So, three, four, five, six. six. Now, this will be the center. Go out a block. And then I feel like we could just start basically right away working on a farm do i want it to be a block lower maybe have it be like this and then this yeah i think yeah or do i Oh, I don't know anymore. 
since I basically have infinite cobblestone, I'm going to do this. The reason why I'm rethinking this is because of the fact that there will be a gap. If I do it that way, there will be a gap. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. The problem with there being a gap is that if I break crops, I'm worried about it having that small chance. Again, it is small, but the chance of the crops sneaking through that gap and basically sacrificing themselves into the void just to get away from it. Because, you know, personally, I don't feel like I'm, you know, that bad. You know, like, Like, no one, you know, no, I'm not that bad, you know, but, you know, some, you know, some, some crops, they might, they might disagree, so, we gotta, gotta put them in their place, and go from there. Uh, so once we get, you know, I could just probably start actually, you know, planting the seeds. And the ability was G. So we just have to hold it. I remember it saying to hold. That's one of the hold abilities. So it just uses mana. I feel like the more condensed the crops are, the more effective the ability will be. So I feel like I need to kind of condense the crops a little bit more. Kind of have, yeah, just more condensed areas for the crops instead of just having them so spread out, like crops over there, crops over here. I feel like having crops kind of in one area. You know, we're just, keep, just trying to keep them out of the bad neighborhoods, you know? Wow, that... Now, I, now it sounds like, I'm not, I promise, I'm not trying to segregate my crops, okay? That's not what's happening. I know it kind of sounds like it, but I promise that is not at all what I'm trying to do. Personally, I feel like my, I, I want my crops to go to a good, go, go to a good school. You know, I want them to have both their parents, you know. I want them to have good genetics. Um, get lots of sun and water. What, what, like, what would, if you were to compare a crop, like a, the, the life cycle of a crop to a person, what exactly, like, how would that go, how would that look? Like, obviously you have like, okay, fully grown crop, that's an adult. 
a, a crop that has just been planted, that's a baby. Okay. But what are the stages in between? And if you are, like, fertilizing the crop, what are you doing to it? If you were to think of it as, if you were like to pers to to personify the the crop, I think is the right terminology. I don't know. I've never had to think of a crop as a person before, so I don't. I, I do apologize if my terminology is not quite. Do you just lose everything? Do you lose all of your stuff? Is there no graves? Is there... I'm gonna cheat for this. There's no grave. Oh, there is a corpse. How would you get this? Oh... I do apologize for cheating, but how would you get this normally? Because water cannot... I don't think water can go down to negative 64. I think it goes down to zero. So I don't actually think that there's any way of getting your stuff back if you die. So I do apologize for cheating, but... I was so focused on crops that I kind of... I lose and you lose your experience, but I'm more worried about my items. Okay. And we need some wood. So we can just smelt up a little bit. Um and a stick. Need some sticks. Alright. Now we have, okay, it stays completed. I forgot. We need a redstone signal. All right, here we go, here we go. Now we have our completed vault crystal. So it's a level two, it'll have a random objective. Um. And since things have taken longer than I expected them to, I need to be very careful with that ability now knowing that I can basically just die at any moment and almost permanently lose my stuff. Um, yeah, that was dumb. Okay. Um... But yeah, since things took quite some time, which is entirely my fault, it is. I will I take full responsibility for the amount of time that has been taking. I mean, it is my video. It's not like I can blame anyone else for it. It's, I mean, it it was my fault. I mean, it's not like I can be like, well, would you, why did you guys allow me to take so long? I, you know, it's I can't just I can't do that. So, but I do apologize for the amount of time that it has taken. But um, but yeah, in the next video, I think we will actually go through this portal. We'll check out the, uh, the, the loot, the vault, the objective, um, and see what we get. Hopefully we get some good stuff. Hopefully we get a lot of XP from it. We'll get, um, some new gear. And yeah, hope we're going to hope for the best for that, with that. But yeah. Uh, without further ado, uh, my name is Sam. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of Volt Hunters. If you did, please leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. Mean the world to me. Doesn't cost you guys anything. And yeah, I hope to see you guys in the next one. You guys take care.